red female. The little red female here did extremely well on the release aspect. Um. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Hi. Too excited. You happy? So she didn't come to me. I, I didn't even have a chance to sit down, but she, she was off and looking around. So she is uh, very, very confident. <laughs> Some puppies just sit at that door and I have a hard time getting them to move forward. So this little girl uh, was just taken away from her litter mates and for the first time and dropped in this room and uh, hasn't met me before or been in here before. So <laughs> basically that's a lot of stress for a puppy. Um, so that could be what she feels when you take her home and uh, lucky you, look at this tail. She's not really feeling stressed. She's had a few little body shakes, um, which shakes off any stress, but man, can she handle it. Hey, you can handle it. So, the release, like I said, super, super confident little girl. So this interaction, there is a lot of things to go around. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Um, so some puppies are social because they want to just be with you. Some so, uh, puppies are on the social spectrum because they need you for support. Uh, this little girl doesn't need my help at all. So I'm going to go really quiet and stop speaking and stop interacting. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> everything in her power to interact with me and <laughs> get me to do something, pay attention to her, play with her, let's go, go, go. <laughs> but she's not really uh, leaving. She's using her mouth a little bit. There's like a slight, ow, ow. Ooh. So use your no teeth on skin exercises, uh, they have to, she's just using them when she's quite excited. So uh, just, get, you know, they have to learn at an early age that that's not acceptable. So I'm going to see if I can... Nope. So definitely a little more social, this girl, than environmental. She has every opportunity to leave and look at the things in the room. So we're going to get up. <laughs> and walk around and see what she does. So this we call like checking in. So the basic thing is, you know, you want to be able to take her to a park or a family picnic or something. Yay! She can play with other kids and dogs and stuff. But she should always kind of know where you are. So it's not just up to you to uh, go looking for her all the time. Puppy come. So use this, very good, as the start of your come exercise, giving her lots of praise when she come. Very good. Yes! Oh, so good. So good. Yes. Lovely, lovely disposition. Her tail hasn't stopped. So we can safely say that she's done a really good job. 
She's not glued to me, but she's quite responsive. So do this game in a, yay, body shaking. Do this in a, a similar size room and then make the room bigger with different toys and then eventually outside. Get that bond before you take her somewhere overwhelming. Now she's, ow, using her teeth. Yes. So after running around like crazy, I'm just going to lift her up and see what she does. So she's uh, looking around the room, but she's not really, aw, aw. Look at her tail. Mm. So lovely uh, levels of patience and tolerance there. Uh, they need it for grooming and vets and... <laughs> Are you having fun? So she did really well on that too. Very good girl. The nice thing is even though she's using her teeth when she's interacting, she's not biting my teeth when, or my feet when I'm walking around. What's this? What's that? What's this on the ground? Look. Huh. Another sign of social. She'd rather kind of stay with me and and go. Come here. Come out this way. <laughs> That's a girl. Ready? Go. Super. Bring it here. <gasps> Super girl. Nice treat. She gave it up. She didn't run it away. You want to do it again? You ready? Super job. Yes! Oh, what a good girl! And right to me, and a nice soft drop. Yes! So she couldn't do any better for a little puppy. So super, super job. Uh, very uh, interactive, you know, happy. Yeah? Are you good? What's next? Yeah? So we've done that, 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 that. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we kind of test her with is a treat test. So this little girl has only really had puppy food and we don't want, to, we want to see what she does with a high quality treat. So if you were trying to get her to do something like sit or stay or lay down and you were giving her a treat that she was just over the moon for, um, it's a little unfair because she can't concentrate if she's so excited. So the goal is to find a treat that she understands is a treat but isn't overwhelming. So I'm going to give her a little bit of a treat. Maybe. Just to make sure she likes it. There's another piece down there. It's on the floor, little girl. It's not in my hand. Right here. So she's quite excited about this treat at the moment. Hey, did you like that? So we're going to just see if she gets over excited or loses focus or if she can do our little test. She's just now eating. <laughs> Was that good? So using, a, as I said, using a really uh, over stimulating treat is counterproductive. So we're going to see. Look. Can you see that? 
So what we would call that is like a small loss of focus. She can smell the tree. I'm not 100% sure she saw the tree, which is important. <laughs> Look. She can smell it. And she got the cup off, but she's just looking for the treat now. So very, very good. So this time she actually uh, tried to get the treat, and she did. And she's nice and calm while she's eating. She's not running around the room going crazy with the cup and laying down. I think you just have to monitor it. Like, should she get uh, bouncy and overexcited, just go back to using your kibble for a little bit. Like that? She's still eating it. <laughs> what do you think? She's quite interested in what you're doing. You know, she's kind of going up to my feet. What is this? You need to see things. She is really interested in my hand. I want you to turn around a little while. So fairly loud noise from behind. And this little girl is almost bomb proof. She didn't really care. <laughs> She's happy. Not sure what it was. So we're just going to wait. Oh. Okay, I just changed it from bomb proof uh, to nearly bomb proof. <laughs> She's really, really good. She came to me, which is telling me that she'll come to me if she's ever scared, which is nice. Um, we expect them to startle. It's how they recover that's important. So if she had to, you know, shut down, are you going to move by yourself? So if she, see, she's a little bit more reliant on me right now. Hmm. So the initial reaction was, I thought, very, very good. But I can see a change in her. So you, you could uh, desensitize her by increasing the noise, like start off really, uh, see now she's laying down. So it did bother her more than I thought at the very beginning. So we are going to get her up. <laughs> you know what it hurts, huh? There we go. Yes. So, I mean, just get her up and moving and get her mind off what it is that bothered her. That's basically it. She is, uh, a little quieter than she was. What's this? Very good. What is that? A little shy of the movement. Can I see? Yeah. When it's on the ground, it's okay, isn't it? <laughs> very, very good. So that didn't take long at all. She does have a nice confidence level. Yeah, just not sure of that noise. So she handled this really, really well. And uh, like with all puppies, the suggestion is just to keep introducing new noises, new sounds, uh, colors, motion, and just broaden their world so they keep that confidence that they have. So very, very good. <laughs> Very surprised at that.
So a basic prey drive usually overrides most of what they're feeling. I mean, it's just in them. Her tail, she's very interested, but she's taking her time. I'm doing a lot to entice her. I mean, squirrels don't usually run in front of them. So that is very, very good. In the real world, of course, there are squirrels and kids on bikes and things they like to chase. So she has a lovely confidence level, although that noise did sort of set her back a little bit. <laughs> so uh, nice that she doesn't have a super strong um, prey drive because she's uh, energetic and has a lovely uh, confidence level. So she's absolutely lovely. I hope you enjoy. Okay. Do your exercises like watch me and drop it and anything that puts her attention back on you. And she looks like she's looking for more treats. <laughs> Very good. I hope you enjoy her. Good girl. Oh, there's that terrible noise. Okay.